what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel sinister coyote here back with another video today i want to talk about the ford maverick so here in front of me i have an xlt maverick and i want to give you guys some good reasons why you should buy this car so first and foremost this car xlt in cyber orange metallic you guys can get this car for thirty four thousand dollars with some options on there. Got the sun in my way, so I can't really zoom in. And the window's tinted too, so. This Maverick is $34,000. Um, one of the primary reasons why I think the Ford Maverick is one of the best cars on the market is primarily, primarily because it's affordable. For $34,000, I think a truck like this is a massive steal great truck for a great value you know two liter inline four and you save a lot of money on gas it's all wheel drive the hybrid version of the maverick is um, front wheel drive while the two liter itself is all wheel drive you can use it all year round driving the snow driving the rain you name it as long as obviously you have the right tires on so with that being said that's one of the primary reasons why the Maverick is honestly one of the best bangs for your buck because you're getting a great truck for a great value. And obviously, if you go with a Lariat, you got a little bit more options, especially, um, I mean, yeah, it does come with a Keyblade, but I it, that doesn't really matter. Keyblade or no Keyblade, push button start, no push button start, it's still a great truck. And you still have so many amenities with it, especially the all-wheel drive system that's in this truck. The all-wheel drive is good, you know, the options are good. With Alaria, you can get the Bang & Olsen sound system. You got Sync 3, you know, you have so much stuff. You have a lot of room, a lot of bed space. You got the outlet right there. You know, you have a lot of stuff that's really available on this truck. And for the size of it, if you ever need to move anything, you got, you got a bed. Literally, it's like a car from Australia, basically. That's what it is. But for honestly, not even... I mean, this XLT is pretty loaded for thirty-four thousand. Even if you didn't have half the options that this car has, you can still get a Maverick XL or XLT for around like twenty-six, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty thousand dollars. You know, like for a brand new car being priced at that much, it's outstanding. You know, like these cars are amazing. They really are. At first, when I first seen the Maverick, I did a video on it, and I at first I did not like it at all. I thought it was ugly. But honestly, now me seeing more Mavericks, like, I honestly really love them. I, they're, they're beautiful, honestly. I really like it a lot more. Uh, this specific Maverick has the black headlights, as you guys can see, compared to a normal Maverick. I guess, I think it's, it has the blackout package, where it's more black accents than chrome. And I think it looks really good. But, yeah, like, the Maverick, such a great car. Such a great car. I love the taillights too. The taillights are gorgeous on, on the Mavericks. But for the most part, uh, a Ford Maverick, I think, especially with the all-wheel drive, I think it's the best bang for your buck. If you're looking for a car that's under $35,000, brand new, for off the lot, I think the Maverick's the best bet. So, so with that being said, what do you guys think? Do you guys think, is it worth it to buy a Ford Maverick? Or would you get something else? I mean, in, in, in its price range, as a daily commute car, daily driver, I can't think of anything else besides, no, I can't even think of any other car that can really compete against this thing. I know Hyundai has the Santa Cruz, and I don't really have that much inf information about that car. Um, this or a Hyundai Santa Cruz, to be honest, but I, I would rather go to the, the Maverick, because I, you know, Hyundai and, and Kia are having problems with their cars getting stolen. I don't know if the Santa Cruz has the same problem. But with this car, like, honestly, Ford cars, you can barely steal them. I know, like, F-150s usually have, like, wheels, like, getting stolen and all that. Those are problems with those. But other than that, to be honest, like, this car, it's a major wow factor. It's a great, great daily car. Save a lot of money on gas. You know, a lot of benefits that come with this car and it works for you in a sense so 
But yeah, guys, comment down below. Would you guys get a Maverick? You think $34,000, $35,000 for an XLT? Is that a valid price point? Especially in today's car market, where everything is really, really expensive? Comment down below. But yeah, guys, I really like the Cyber Orange Metallic. I think this color is really sick. Let's do a bit of a walk around of that. Just can't keep my eyes off it. Orange roof. Got a bed in here. Again, the bed space is pretty, pretty darn good. And I think the taillights look sick too. LED lights and taillights. It's not traditional, normal bulb. So you got a straight LED light. So, and you can tell with this. I don't know how much you can tell, but you can also tell. You gotta hit this instead of hitting a bunny. You gotta hit this lever. Brings the trunk down. Let's try to get a look at the window sticker, though. All right, y'all. Window sticker. There we go. Got a better view. Hang on. I think the sun is really messing it up. Sorry, I'm trying to focus. There we go. There you go. 2023 XLT all-wheel drive. 2-liter EcoBoost. 8-speed automatic transmission. Cyber orange metallic black onyx trim. You guys can pause and read. I'm gonna try to go as slow as possible. I'm zoomed in. If I zoom out, it's gonna get blurry again. Base price of this car is 24,000. So if you wanna get an XLT, the base price is literally $24,000. Total options are eight grand. Total vehicle options and everything is 32,935. And destination delivery is $1,595, which results to... Oh, no, it's getting blurry. $34,000. Oh, shit. It's getting blurry. Sorry, guys. $34,000. Jesus Christ. Hang on. So there you have it, guys. $34,530. You can, guys can get an XLT. Well, not even that. $24,000. Literally, starting price is $24,000. So think about it, guys. You Like, would you get this? Would you get a Maverick XL, XLT? Which trim would you prefer? Or would you guys wait for the Maverick Raptor? I think that with this price range of $34,000, I think the Maverick Raptor is going to be around. Like a fully loaded Maverick Raptor will probably be like $50,000, $50 $50,000. Um, that's my guess. My estimate is going to be, it'll be around forty to fifty thousand dollars for a Maverick Raptor. Oh, well, obviously, with a Maverick Raptor, it should hopefully it'll have every bang, uh, bell and whistle on the car. You know, hopefully, have remote start. Hopefully, the bed can go up and down by itself. Yeah, at the end of the day, the Maverick is a work truck. If you need a car for daily driving, I think that's that's what the Maverick is for. If you need a car brand new zero miles and you need to take it to point a to point b this is the vehicle right here work truck right here uh daily commute right here uh you want an uber right here you want a doordash right here you can do it all in this car this car is all-wheel drive this car can make sure you can get from point a to point b two liter all-wheel drive great phenomenal car you live up north this is the car to get now in terms of driving deep, deep snow, I don't know. I wouldn't really recommend it because also you're sitting pretty low. But make sure you got the right tires on too. Tires are important. And obviously, you knowing how to drive is important too. So it's not always about the car. It's always, it's also about the driver. So keep that in mind. All right, then, y'all. This is going to go ahead. We're going to conclude the video. This is the Ford Maverick Cyber Orange Metallic 2023 XLT. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, comment down below. Would you get a Maverick? Comment down below. A lot of people seem to love it. Um, everyone, this is a high demand vehicle for it. So go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.